So we will be giving you a sweet 12 talent competition. Is everyone excited? natin ano, may mga magaling kumanta. Pwede na rin. <laughs> may mga magaling sumayaw. Umarte. Minsan kumain ng apoy. <laughs> Minsan naman may mahusay mag-drawing. Tama yan, Megan. Diba, Shams, you won Miss Talent last year for sketching that beautiful portrait on stage. Alam mo guys, that's truly performance art. Wow, thank you, Mateo. Well, it just goes to show that we really have different personal interests and pursuits in life. At mapapatunayan pa lalo yan as we get to know our next set of Bini Binis. I was born in Calibo and I grew up in a small province, Bajo. I am the only child, but when we moved to Norway when I was seven, I had no yayas and I had to, you know, manage my own everyday life because both of my parents worked full-time and that made me independent so I wouldn't change that for the world. I've studied German for six years in Norway and I wanted to move to a country where German was a mother tongue so I chose to move to Munich. The time I moved to Munich I was really homesick to the Philippines. I got this idea I was like why don't I send an email to the Philippine Embassy in Munich and ask them if they have a Philippine community and I contacted the contact person and it turned out that they have meetings every Friday where they ate Filipino food. Obisa ko since my childhood days, preschool pa lang, talagang every time I ride a tricycle, sabi, ay naman yung matabang bata, yung si Miss Pini. Mahilig talaga kami kumain. Actually, I used to eat three cups of rice and I used to eat on a restaurant na eat all your hen. Lahat ng eat all your hen restaurants na try ko na. At three cups of rice, syempre gradual yung pagpayat ko nun. Kaya, instead of rice, ano na lang, kamote or banana. Yung family history namin, diabetic talaga. Kaya ka naman dumating din sa point na yung sugar level ko is mataas din. Yung pinasukan ko pang course is sa nursing field pa into medicine pa. Kaya, syempre, meron kaming course na basic nutrition kahit pa paano. We have a background. So yun, dun ko na-apply yung course ko from a sedentary lifestyle to a healthy lifestyle. Losing weight taught me if you really put your heart into something, mapupursuit, mapupursuit mo. My parents are actually separated. So growing up, it was just me and my older brother. We would always go back from my mom to my dad to my mom to my dad. And then aside from that, my dad would move. And then, you know, we were forced to move to wherever he wanted to go. And then if we were with my mom, it would be the same thing. There was a short time where my older brother and I were living with our dad. And personal family problems that had to do with drugs. And then it caused us to actually be homeless. I remember my dad picked us up from school one day. And and he said, yeah, we're going to we're gonna go to the BART station. We're going to go somewhere. I was like, we ended up actually staying, sleeping in one of the BART station bathrooms with my older brother. It was only a couple of days, but overnight already, it seemed like it was forever because you're not used to that. But at the same time, my older brother, who is such an important person in my life, you know, he always told me, you know, it's going to be okay. You know, I'm here. Don't be scared. Living individually far away from my family, that's a completely difficult trial for me. It's very hard, like you have to worry about what your food is and your time management. 
and that when you wake up in the morning, you won't have breakfast with your family, so it's that hard. My little sister, she's the queen or the clown of the family, so Nafa really does stress us, so I miss her so much. Every time that I go home now, I'm tired, so I just go to sleep, and I call them, or they call me, so okay na po with the use of technologies. I get my source of strength from God. He's my personal diary. Like, I don't write in my diary, but I tell him everything that I feel, even though he knows. I love sports. I played for the UAAP for two years as part of the women's basketball team of National University. I was a first-year college at the Ateneo de Naga University in Naga City. I was recruited to play for NU. It was my passion before sports for it helps me to develop my confidence, being competitive, to give honor to your school. In summer, I think we have, it is surrounded by beaches. I'm a romantic type of person. I enjoy long walks on the beach, parks, or anywhere. Lahat kami sa family namin marunong kami magchess. And one time dun sa school namin na try ako, actually try out lang siya. Then, ako yung nanalo, fortunately, and then, nagtuloy-tuloy na yung career na being a chess player. May pagmamalaki ko na naging chess player ako kasi sabihin na talagang isip yung ginagamit, ginagamit mo yung utak mo. It really parang enhance strategies like that. Sa swimming pool, takot ako sa death. Sa mga malalalim na lugar, takot talaga ako sa mga ganyan. I was forbidden to swim since at the age of 10 kasi yung mother ko, Nag-accidenta na sa isang travel through water. So, simula nun, binawalan kami. Ina-expect nila na marunong ka mag-swimming, you're a swimmer. Pero sa amin, sa buong family namin, we were forbidden to swim. I was properly raised by my family. Nung kabataan ko, my family is very protective because I'm the only girl and the youngest among three siblings. Hindi ko siya uh, actually masyadong na-enjoy. Napakaseryoso ka ng pamilya ko. Then, my mom passed away when I was just 13. But you say, mother, kahit hindi ka magsabi, alam niyang may problema ka and she knows what you need. Nararamdaman niya yun. So, nung nakakamiss lang kasi, when I was in elementary, I used to join street parades, like, the festival festival na sumasayo sa street. Nakakamiss kasi. We have to dance for how many kilometers walk. Pero andyan siya naglalakad ay dalang water. Tapos pabay pa yung wala na. Alam ko na she's very proud of me. Kasi pangarap ko na at the same time pangarap niya para sa akin. When you picked up the phone Here last year since I joined again, I think that's a great advantage because I know how it goes, I know the rules, and apart from that, this time I'm more determined, I'm more prepared. I think determination, perseverance, confidence, plus faith will make me succeed this year. Aside from my mom, Shamsi really inspired me because during batch namin, kami dalawa yung halos pareho ng gusto. We never planned on joining. And then nakita ko na Shamsi is a girl who always strives for excellence. Magna cum laude, top one, some awards. And naisip po nun parang, why not aim for a higher mark, higher than first runner-up? I still have the time, and still, I'm just 22, and I still have the body, I guess. So, bakit hindi ko nalang ituloy pa? At hopefully, makuha yung universe crown or any other crowns.
dati parang mahiyain ako. Though friendly ako, hindi ako masyadong nakikihalubilo dun sa tingin ko nakakaangat sa akin, sa financial, sa social, yung mga ganong level. Tapos nung sumala ako sa pageant, tapos nanalo ko, parang mas na-develop ko yung personality ko. Parang mas kaya kong harapin kahit sinong tao. Sabi nila, huwag kang, huwag kang pupunta dyan kasi wala kang oras. Kailangan nandito ka sa bahay. Kaya sabi ko ngayon, nung sumali ako sa pageant, wala na ako sa bahay nun. Wala na ako sa kilatita ko. Na, an, bumuhod na ako. Naghanap na ako ng matitira nung siya. Ano na ko yung taong kayang tumulong sa akin. Kaya ngayon, sabi ko, hindi na ako maniniwala sa mga taong walang tiwala sa akin dahil ngayon, kilala ko ang sarili ko at alam kong kaya kong gawin lahat na gusto ko. At 25, I am already a certified public accountant, and this year I am also graduating with honors at the Ateneo Law School. I think the most challenging for me is joining Binibini Pilipinas the second time this year. I think it is an advantage for me since it's my second time because I already know the process. But then at the end of the day, it's not all about having an advantage. It's still enjoying the pageant as it is and still trying to gain more friends and a family here in Binibini. My motivation basically is that this year I feel that I am more confident and that I really think that I deserve one of the crowns and I am going to to the farthest extent just to ensure that this dream of mine will come true this time around. We've met 20 gorgeous ladies sharing what's in between those beautiful ears. Next up, 10 more. See you on the other side.